W. Crawford here, and I just wanted to talk about the Apple thing that's going on today because I love technology news and Apple's technology, and plus it's interesting, so let's just dig in. So basically, um, the San Bernardino shooter um, had an Apple device, and so the government was basically asking to get information off that device. And if you haven't really heard that much into it, then you can watch this clip that's going to be over here. Well, I probably freeze like this. Apple is taking a stand against the FBI. After the San Bernardino shooting on December 2nd, 2015, federal agencies have not been able to unlock gunman Saeed Rizwan Farouk's iPhone 5C, and they are now demanding that Apple step in. The FBI has been unable to crack Farouk's iPhone passcode. After 10 attempts, the phone is locked, and you cannot gain access without resetting through Apple's web service. The FBI is asking that Apple create a unique OS just for use on Farouk's phone that would allow them to input an infinite number of attempts at the passcode using brute force to overcome the password. Apple declined and on February 16, 2016, published a letter to their website outlining their concerns and the slippery slope that building a backdoor into their operating system would open. In their okay, so did you learn a lot from the video? Good. So basically, Apple said this morning, about 19 hours ago, and by the way, it's like 9 o'clock where I am right now, that they missed the boat. That Apple will not give them their information so it can be restored. Even though I personally think that if the government wants something, that they're going to take it, and that they have access to it. But I think this whole bit is basically just to see if the government can ethically take it, or just take it the way they usually take other information. Because I'm not going to lie to you, if the government wants something, they're going to get something. And one thing basically this whole debate started with the Apple and FBI is that can other iPhones have a way or a backdoor or an encryption that the FBI can get into so they don't have to go through the hard way of getting the information. So if the FBI has it, then has the encryption of the backdoor way, then they have access to new phones. And that was something that was a main uh, idea and concept that Apple, it's an Apple right here, did not agree to. And I could see the problem with that and so can many people. Other people say that there's ways that hackers can uh, see it and that's a, an uh, abuse of privacy of which we talked about a few moments ago. And also just my thought on all of it Honestly, if the FBI wants something, then the FBI is going to get something. But also, this also just, like I said, re-sparks the entire conversation of privacy. And, and I like, and I see Americans how they say, yeah, watch everyone that's suspicious, but just don't watch me. And that's something that's a whole different controversy in itself. So I hope you learned a little bit, and I hope you are now in a little bit more knowledgeable of what's going on with the Apple controversy and the FBI controversy. And uh, go ahead and click the link below to go to my portfolio, WordPress, WordPress, or really anything else that involves my name. Uh...